Welcome. I've always wanted to start a show like that. You know what they do on the news? Bom, 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 bom. Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to Crafters TV. It's Friday. Woo! Um, I've got some new shoes for Christmas. Not, not as um, spinny as my other ones, these. No. Uh, Huh? Squeaky? No, they're not squeaky. They've just got like quite good grips on them. They're really nice, actually. Um, welcome. They're really nice for the fact that they've got um, a little zip on the side, so you don't have to undo the laces every time. You can just unzip them down the side and take them off. Very lazy, but I like it a lot. Anyway, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to Craft Vault. We are in. We found the keys. We opened it all up, uh, and we are here to bring you some fantastic deals. 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 We have got up to 75% off across the show. Um, so do make sure you delve in, you dive in, see what you like, and grab it. Is all I can tell you as far as um, you know. <sighs> We haven't got huge stocks of the majority of the items that we have on the show. Um, we previewed some of the items earlier on this morning on Wake Up Call, and we've had sellouts. So if you see something you like, there are some crazy prices tonight. Just get in, grab the deals, get them in your basket, get them checked out. Also worth bearing in mind as we get into the craft vault, which is all about your die cutting, it is new year, new craft. We have been concentrating lots on um, die cutting today. Hopefully, um, managed to answer lots of your questions. Corinne's been firing out some fantastic demos, also been doing lots of your requests as well when it comes to kind of uh, showing how to get the best out of your plates, how to use your machines in the best way, um, how to um, do all the different plate combinations. But if there's anything else you want to ask, feel free to do so over the course of this show. Um, and don't forget, there's still lots on the website as far as new launches are concerned. You've got today's new launch, which is our fantastic nesting dies that are the glitter paste, the mesmerizing glitter paste that we launched on Wednesday are still proving so, so popular. And in case you didn't know, we've got the brand new Gemini MIDI available for you as well less than 200 of those available uh, it's the brand new raspberry color to coordinate beautifully with the um, raspberry mini and also your gemini 2 it's nothing new in terms of um, features if you like it does exactly what your purple gemini mini does but if you fancy adding it to your family if you haven't already got the midi you can pick that up today and no doubt we'll look at that in more detail a little bit later on as i said we're going to make it a nice and interactive fun final show for your friday it is not just me no 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 it is the one and only uh corin robertson how are you how's your day been are you looking forward to the show yes yes and yes Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> right, and, uh, <laughs> it's been a fun. No, really good. It's been yeah, fun. I'm looking forward to it. I like it when you've got, you know, I love doing the launches. They're really good fun. Mm. But then when you do something like this craft vault and you've got lots of different things and you try to put different things together and see how they work together, things that, you know, different collections that might not normally, you might not have considered putting together, I think it's really good fun and I love doing that. So, yes, really excited for this. Yeah, and... Um, it's going to be a slightly different craft vault for the fact, because normally you think of craft vault, you think, oh, fast pace, going to be deal, 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 no demos. But we are going to today do deal, 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 but we're going to do demos as well, right? Yes. How many potentially? Four, maybe. Four. Yeah. We've only got through three in each of the shows, so it would be more if we got through the four. Okay. Um, we, we, just stay with us. Ask the questions, buy the deals, love the demos, get in touch. Let's make it a nice and fun Friday. We've got Hayley on the socials uh, tonight. Hi, Hayley. Uh, and also hi to Diane Cadman, who says, hiya, uh, good evening from Walsall in the West Midlands. Evening. Hi. Um, <laughs> so this she, should be. She's from the West Midlands, Dean, not Australia. <laughs> This should be direct to microphones, direct to the studio, shouldn't there? I've, I, do you know what? I, I said it uh, a little while back. We should have like a premium red button service where if people want to listen to the nonsense that we have to put up within the shows, mm. they can pay like a subscription service, like seven ninety nine a month. Yeah. You know, uh, Crafters TV Pro, where they get the chance to listen to the gallery audio. Can you imagine? Would that be it, popular? Yeah, I think it would actually. <laughs> do you think? Because the stuff. You're not interested, aren't you, Jamie? The stuff that Dean comes out with, mm. yeah. It'd be worth seven ninety nine a month yeah. just to share that. Exactly. Or you could pay nine ninety nine and have the the visual as well. But you you wouldn't you wouldn't see much. You'd, you'd, you'd see this. You'd see this. <laughs> oh what? Oh what? What, 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 what are we doing? <laughs> Only joking. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't you click that off and send it to the bosses. I'm not allowed to sit on the side. I get told off. <laughs> Um, good evening, Stephen. He says, uh, good evening, everyone. Hi, Carletta, who's with us in Arkansas. Roseanne joins us from Massachusetts. Um, hello to everyone at CTV and all my fellow crafters. A happy new year to you all. Happy new year. When do we stop saying happy new year? I don't know. Is there a rule? It's supposed to be the first time you see somebody, isn't it? But what happens if you don't see them until October? Well, that is a little bit tad late, isn't it? 
then you're a bad friend. <laughs> Um, hi to Hillary who says, hello everyone, happy Friday. Uh, Michelle joins us, hello. Also hi to Phil Watson who says, good evening. And hi to Kim uh, who says, hi everyone. Uh, yes, it's me, it's Corin over the course of the show. Team tonight is Jake who is working hard somewhere up and down the corridors. And you've got Dean and also Jamie in the gallery. You've got a hello, a hello, hello. Jenny? Huh? Jenny in the gallery. Jamie. Oh, I thought you said Jenny in the Jenny's gallery. Jenny's not in there. If Jenny's in the gallery, I'm already fired for sitting on the side. <laughs> Um, no, you have not. Right, um, let's get cracking then. There, there are going to be ridiculous deals tonight. Basically, if you've got a tenner, ten bucks, ten dollars, there are so many deals that you'll be able to pick up tonight. Like, for example, this first deal, uh, which is your Edibles Duo, um, six pounds forty or eight dollars eighty. You, I mean, I'll show you these on cards here. I haven't got the actual dies or the packaging here, so it might be. Um, Good to kind of throw to you fairly soon but what you've got in essence here is six dies in each of the sets for you to be able to um, create some fantastic edible designs and you can use them individually of each other oh, yeah. or if as we're seeing here you can create the most extravagant projects i always think like edibles like this as well are quite nice if you like to create like little um albums or memory yes. books they make nice edges to they your would. pages they don't make they? beautiful edges to your pages yeah um this one is called your traditional braces so you've got the um six dies in total they're the three designs and then the three um outer dies and then this one is your Mod modern scallops. Modern scallops. So it is 12 dies in total, um, all interchangeable and mixable. £30 or $40 is what you should be paying. They are £6.40 or $8.80 if you're platinum. Stock levels on this, Dean, I'm guessing are quite low once again. They are, to be fair, um, is the answer <laughs> I'm getting back. This is, this is brilliant. So, I mean, what does that mean? Could be, could be 500 could be 10. No, we've got double figures remaining on these. So if you like the look of them, <laughs> yeah, they are, to be fair. Uh, then jump in and grab them. Should we have a look at them with them? Uh, I think we should. Are you going to go for the braces or are you going to go for the uh, I've the got scallops? the modern scallops. Now, both of them work oh, in exactly the same way. You can see in here, this is the traditional basic braces. You can see all six dies. Yeah. How do they work? So this, this is what they are. So you've got three dies in each set that doesn't have any outside mm. cutting edge at all it just cuts into your cardstock so that, that black and white one that you just saw um, with uh, Ben a few minutes ago you could see how it cut in you could cut multiples yeah. into them like that but then you get three different edibles that fit perfectly against the edges of those so you could have that one with one two three that one with one two three that one with one two three you could have that one then cut into that one then cut into that one with that I mean there are a lot of, a lot combinations, of combinations a yeah. lot a lot of combinations so it's entirely up to you so i've got a six by six card blank because they are just about six inches high and i'm just going to use my glass mat because i found that i'm not very accurate if i don't look at the glass mat and try to put that on that to me looks straight if i put it onto here you can see, look, it's on the thick line there, but it's on the thin line there. Yeah. It's clearly not straight, mm. but it looks straight to me. Mm. So I use my glass mat and I'm going to go to the, to do that line there. And that's good. So I'm going to go off the top of my page, top and bottom, and then I'm going to hold that down with my tape. So I'm just going to put that on there. I'm trying to, trying to get that really close to the edge because I don't want it to go on that side for a minute because what I'm then going to do now you could cut that separately on its own if you feel happier yeah I'm then going to get another one of those and I'm going to pop it pretty close they're, they're designed to be almost butted up to yeah. each other so then I can just take that and put a piece of tape over there great thing is your tape is multi-use so you can pop that there so once I've got that on there that's nicely taped down and pop that on here now we can see let's give this a go let's do this Debbie's way and see I've taken out my I've taken out my magnetic shim because I'm cutting into my card base okay if I go in with the maximum pressure I might find that what it'll do is it could crease my card base yeah so let's have a look I don't know whether this will have cut or not no it hasn't look I can see there, look, it's not cut that bit just there. So I am going to have to put my magnetic shim in. But it doesn't matter. I try it first because I don't want to put too much pressure on 
because it's my actual card base and I don't want to crush the life out of that card base. That's going slower. One thing you'll notice with the Gemini is if you, the more pressure you put in, it just goes that little bit slower. Yeah. So you can tell it's... Now, what I could have done, if I'd have thought about it, was let it cut that, paused it and reversed it out, and then it wouldn't have gone through that card at all. There we go, look at that. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. perfect. Mm. But it's just worth trying it. You know, just start with the least pressure and see where you go as well. So let's then just get my pokey tool. Oh, it's not gone too bad, look, because this hasn't pushed into my card. Ooh, and look yes. at that. Perfect. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yeah. Uh, so that's my card base. Let's just get my bone folder, because that was creased, but obviously with going through the die cutting machine. Yeah, I can see a couple of marks on there from pressure, but with the way the card's going to be decorated, it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do then, I've got water reactive ink pad. You can use whichever one you want. I'm just using my pink tulip, and you'll see why in a minute. And then I'm just going to just lightly just that over there. I don't want to go too hard, and I just want to try and keep it within this sort of cut area. Would you use? Would you personally use these on, more on cards or more on, say, like memory albums and pages? Because well, I don't know why. When I look at these more so than other edibles, I, I think they are. They yeah. look more like they lend themselves to pages in a. They do an album. really, really lend themselves to pages in an album. I don't make many at memory albums. Uh, okay. It's the simple answer mm. to that. Um, but I totally get where you're coming from. Mm. If I made memory albums, I think I would definitely be using them mm. on that. Right, now, what I'm going to do next is I've got a piece of white card and a piece of pink card. Okay. So I'm going to get... I want that edge back on this one. It's just so you can see. Now, one of the things we talked about, about we haven't really mentioned about die cutting, is a die is a blade, but it can only... So how it works is it works with... In pressure and you've got amazing pressure in your Gemini machine so what it does is the Gemini machine pushes the cardstock into the blade It'll be easier to see on here so it pushes the cardstock into there and that's when it cuts if you don't clean your dies between cuts yeah the holes will fill with paper card whatever material you've been cutting that means that the next time you go through there's nowhere for the next layer of card to so go. So it's going to miss bits. So it's going to miss bits. Mm. It can't cut because it only works by enabling the card to go up there. So if you don't clean your dies out, your dies are going to fail. And people say, oh, my dies aren't cutting. Well, actually, it's probably because you've not been cleaning them. Or you maybe you haven't, you know. OK, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick this one on, do exactly the same. Let's get this tape off because I can use it again. <coughs> There we go. Not frugal, it's just this tape's hardly used. So, put that on there, line it up, using my mat to line it up, put that one on. Then I'm going to come in with a different pattern. I like this one. Again, very Art Deco. Mm. Put that on to there. I'm just leaving that slight gap. Just give me a little bit of a border, and I can put that on to here, and then that one. So once I've got that, I'm then going to go back to the dotty one that I used before. And I'm going to line that one up. And this is why I've moved on to my larger plates. Because I can do them all. So the oh, one yeah. I've not used mm -hmm. is oops, this sort of cloud effect. So <coughs> and I can put that one up. Oop. This is why you have to try and keep the tape out of the way, because you don't want that in the way. And that will then butt up to there. So you're leaving the slightest gap, aren't you? Yeah, very yeah. slight. Mm. <coughs> and go, they, they'll look, they'll go right up close. Yeah. But I'm just wanting to leave a little bit of gap, because I just like that border effect. Um, Put that in there. We just say I said Kim who's joined us, Lynn is in from Scotland, watching with a grandson Caden who wants to learn how to craft. We've well, come to the nice. right place. Uh, and we've got our first taker on um, Crafters TV Premium, uh, Karen, <coughs> who says, I would be up to pay so I could listen into the conversation between the presenter and the behind the scenes staff. <laughs> Might have stumbled on something here. Uh, it's not a real thing. I think thing. you'd have to sign a waiver. Who? Anybody oh. that signed up that they didn't <laughs> object to 
to, to the, the sounds, that, the words that go off. Yeah, it would, it, would come, it would come with a warning, wouldn't it? Like they do on shows, you know, after the, uh, after the watershed where they go, uh, this next programme may have language <laughs> which may offend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. yeah. it, it's not a real thing, by the way, before you join in and go, oh, I want to do that. Can you imagine? Everyone writes customer services and says, I want, to be, I want to be premium. You imagine, Sarah comes back next week. <laughs> What's this new premium, premium crafters TV that Ben's been offering? Uh, Rhonda says, hello, Ben, Corrin and crew and Team Social and all my wonderful crafty peeps at Oak Park, Chicago. Evening, everyone. It's lovely to have you with us. Uh, keep the comments coming through. Keep us company over the course of the next couple of hours. That'd be lovely. Right, now, what I've done Ooh, now wow. is I've cut. So what we've got so far is we've got one on here, one on pink and one on here. This is only smaller because I was being a little bit um, more frugal, mm. um, trying to get it all out of one sheet. So I'm going to come back in here because I've done pink on the white, you know, inking on the previous one. I just want to do the same on here. Oh, and then we can just... Now, this one does need a little bit of a trim down, but I've got one that I've already cut trimmed down ready, but you can see. So what we want to do is we're going to go one with the pink, one with the white, mm -hmm. and then... Beautiful, that. We're going to go... But doesn't that look Guys. so pretty? Mm. Again... Like you say, there could be scrapbook pages. It could be however you want it to be. So I've got one that I sort of... Oops, it's rolling away. So I've got one... Oh, I did it the other way round on oh. this one. Look, I did oh, that well. one as tentfold. Works either way. Yeah. Doesn't matter which way you want to do it. I have got Once Upon a Time papers. I think they're really pretty. I've seen those so, for a while. I know. And then, um, yeah, I think the paper was from... The pink was from Hummingbird. Oh, yeah. Um, I like my Once Upon a Time um, collection. It's just got nice, it's nice colours, it's nice and soft. When was that? About this time last year? Probably was, you I think know. it was, wasn't it? Probably Early last was. year. 2023. Or oh, some fantastic new um, papers and cards that come in your way soon, by the way, as well. Just had a little flick through some new bits and bobs which are right, coming your way very soon. They're in the, uh, in the office. Well, all I've seen is the one I've got first look of on Sunday. The new Sarah one, the yeah. floral, what's it yeah. called? Floral fragrance or floral fancy? Yeah, it's called. that one. Yeah. And um, a 12 by 12 paper pad that we've got coming out as well. Uh, yes. What's the actual name of it? I've got it here. Floral elegance. Floral elegance, floral there something. you go. Yeah. Right, now, because I've cut off the front, I've put that on the inside of my card. Then I'm going to come in with my pink one and I put, I found my thinnest tape that I could, mm -hmm. and I've just put plenty on so it doesn't sag, but just layers of my thin tape. And if you struggle to, um, to, you know, you think, oh, it might not stick, this is a good tip. Put some wet glue That's over it. Your, t your tape, yeah. and then you've got that little bit of wiggle room. That's what Jan always does. I always remember that as a Jan tip. Yeah. Um, glue, in your, uh, glue in your tape in case it dries out. I was just thinking as well, these would look lovely on a box, wouldn't they? Yeah, look, lovely round box. Yeah, this, the edges of yeah. the box lid would look lovely. So then I'm going to take this one. You can see I've trimmed this one down so it's the perfect size. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oops. Take that. Now, what I've done here is I've got a single layer of tape there, but I've got double height of tape here because they're going to... That one is going to overlap on top of that one. Yeah. So if that's got one layer and that's got one layer, that makes two, so I needed to put two on the bits that don't overlap yeah. so that it's all the same height. A little bit of wet glue. Yeah, Jam does it because she says it makes the tape last longer as well, doesn't it? Because it doesn't That's it, dry yeah, because over time the, the, the tape can dry, can't it? So. Yeah. So I'm going to pop that to just there. Now, the top tip I would give you for this is do a bit like I've done, cut it too big and then trim it down once you've got it on the card, which is what I did here. Mm. It's easier than trying to cut it perfectly and then trying to make it fit, so just yeah. do that. Then I just got some pink that I just used the plain scalloped edge. That's the third of the shapes. And I'm just going to pop that one on there with a little bit of a border around the outside and then another layer on here. Now I'm going to put a sentiment on, and the sentiment I'm going to stick on is from the same collection as one that we had in our showstopper deal this morning, except it's a different one, but the one in the showstopper deal, what was it, did you say it was 
Thinking uh, of you. Thinking of you, yeah. So what I've got what have here. You got? Yeah, thinking of you. Would work. The thinking of you would work, but I didn't know what the showstopper deal was at the time of putting this deal together, this demo together. You mm. see, I didn't know what the deal was. That's that's the right words. Come on. Um, hi, Christine Mahoney. Who's just put new papers? Yeah, there's lots. There's a big pile of the new, the new, uh, the the new launches. Uh, they're in the uh, in the office. I could bring them in and show you, but it's more than my job's worth. Right, now, that is where I would leave this because I think I did this one, just to show you, different ways. I did this one as a side opener and I just totally forgot what I'd done. This one I did as a top. Both of them work. It's entirely up to you. That is extravagant, you isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I like it with that little bit of foam, just giving it lift and giving you a little bit of depth between each layer. And if you went for a, like a longer card, you could just keep going more yeah, and more and more and more and more, yeah. couldn't you? This is a take it or leave it price. If you want the Edgeables Duo, then you'll jump in and grab it. If you, um, you either want it or you don't at this price. It's 30 pounds, it's $40, it's six pounds 40 tonight platinum or $8. 80 um, and as I said shop ahead on the web there's loads and loads of big deals for you as far as this show is concerned die cutting essentials pop together a nice little um, pile of goodies for you here so if you are wanting to get into uh, die cutting or indeed actually do you know what if you just need to stock up on essential craft room tools then you've got them here in this collection we bring you cardstock which is essential um, if you're die cutting because you're going to be wanting to cut into your cardstock aren't you this is a lovely collection of Centura Pearl actually it's called the trends is 40 sheets uh, you're going to be getting here of course a4 310 gsm love all of the colors that you're going to be getting here very bright very vibrant i think maybe the sort of color palettes we're all sort of looking to um, to work with now the sort of christmas period has finished and as we look towards sort of uh, springtime i know summertime is a long way off but that color palette is absolutely gorgeous you're getting 40 sheets included in there also you're going to get your pastels i know this crops up also in the deal with your showstopper, but it's that same pad again that you're getting. So multiple opportunities to pick this up. You've got 24 sheets in all these pastel colors with your beautiful um, pearl cardstock and also that linen cardstock available uh, as well. 24 sheets in total there. Then you're gonna be wanting something to uh, glue with. So we pop in one of our glue tape pens. This is the original glue tape pen, not one of the dotties, uh, original glue tape. It's the um, 22 meter, 72 feet one in that original style. I know you can now get the, um, the refillable ones, which are uh, slightly bigger, slightly different design, but always still very handy to have these. Low tack tape, you're gonna get three reels of that. You'll have seen um, Corin using this over the course of the day today, handy for um, you know keeping your dies in place, handy as well for things like when you're um, sensing doing all your mixed media, really, really handy to have low tack tape around. And it is um, that tape which you can reuse, because particularly if you are running it through your machine as well, because our machine is so powerful, that low tack tape almost becomes like high tack. Uh, so you can use this again and again and again, you'll get a lot of use out of those three reels. Also ever popular, never have too many of these, like pens really, aren't they? Uh, your pokey tools, have as many as you can have basically because you know these are going to roll away you might lose them you might misplace them the more you've got the better we're giving you two within this bundle um, and then you've also got very handily again you've seen this um, in action a few times today as well uh, your dye brush and foam pad allowing you to um, effortlessly release the paper from your dies but also as we've seen again if you have got really delicate dies like the ones that we've launched today makes it nice and easy to get those bits and pieces out uh, without any fuss and faff all of that should be £49 or $66. Uh, you're at £24 or $32 today. Again, if you're new to crafting, a bundle like that is absolutely brilliant and essential uh, when it comes to your die cutting. Thank you for the comments coming through. Lots of love for that last project. Uh, Lynn saying, I've never seen those papers before. Yeah, they were um, around, I want to say around about this time last year, something like that. Um, Such a pretty card, says Sarah Muir. Beautiful, says Roseanne. Gorgeous, says Michelle. Uh, and lovely uh, says Trish Lestelle. Um, we are going to take a short break. Um, check the deals out. Craft Vault, low stocks, low prices. See what you want. Get it in your basket. Get it checked out. Uh, we'll come back with more inspo in about ooh, 10 minutes time. No, four minutes. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. 
I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family many of our viewers bring up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate thinking though it might not work as well because i put too much <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um, <coughs> me thing in place. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire 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 Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Here at Crafters TV, it can be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining us. It's Friday, half past six already here in the UK. I don't know where the time's going. Uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're well. I hope the uh, new year has been good to you so far. If you're here in the UK, somewhere where it's flooding, I hope you're safe, hope family are well, hope that everything is good with you. Uh, do get in touch, say hello, let us know what you're up to. What does the weekend hold, crafty or not? Uh, what will you be doing? We'd love to hear from you. And also, do feel free to keep firing in any questions. Um, we've been chatting a lot today about die cutting as part 
part of our new year new craft so any die cutting dilemmas well, that's a good one that isn't it die cutting dilemmas uh, fire them in anything that we can answer for you anything that we can show you um, we are happy to do it we're here for you we're live and interactive for the next hour and a half so use us uh, as much as you want must also say hello to uh, watching on Facebook Leanne Chivers is in Leanne lovely to have you watching it just says good evening you gorgeous humans well good evening to you um, thank you if you are I don't know if you just dropped in and then dropped out again but if you are still watching thanks for the tip on uh, the traitors by the way Leanne was um, t saying about that new tip well it's not new is it because it was on last year but that TV show who else is watching that here in the UK do you have that in the US as well I think you might there's do. a US version ours is ours is come out on the back of the US version no that I th I think ours was the original oh was it I'm sure it was oh I'm sure no I didn't you could Who be was right. first, UK or US? <laughs> I think, I want to say it was us. But anyway, if you're watching it, whether you're in the US or if you're in the UK, or maybe you're somewhere else and they have that show, it is brilliant. It's on again tonight. Um, so that is what I'll be doing from nine o'clock. Phone off, do not disturb. I, I never get hooked on TV shows. Okay, question, put you on the spot. Last uh, night, yeah? did you watch Traitors or Dragon? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it was, Dragon's Den was on before traitors oh was it yes ah. and of course dragon starts at eight i was here till oh, probably, ah, caught, probably caught to you? nine so, you know so by the time i shut up jimmy by, by the time i got back dragon to finish but i recorded it to watch over the weekend wait well, it's, it's on iplayer it's on iplayer of course as well so i should have just said that shouldn't i really <laughs> yeah but uh <laughs> I get the I get I do what I do watch a little bit of, of do you watch dragons? Yeah, watched it last night on iPlay. Is it good? Yeah. Any investments from Sarah? Yeah. And I forgot which one it was. <laughs> but yeah. But by the time I got home and got settled and had my dinner, I tuned in just at the point where there seemed to be like some um uh pitch what they were all really excited about. So I don't know who got that in then because I was sort of flitting around. But I'll I'll watch it back. <laughs> later over the weekend uh jane says anybody got a good soup recipe that they love oh i have um i'm i'm a bit partial well we sh we'll share i've been making a lot of um um potato and leek soup and Ooh, also like that as well. very partial to a spicy sweet potato soup nice mm -hmm. what do you do uh Bacon and red lentil, really <laughs> nice. Just got curry powder in it. Do you know what? I never think to put meat in my soups. I don't. I've all, I've done all veggie soups. Oh, I'll lend you my recipe. It's really nice. I've got it on Sunday. But do you write? Do you write it? Do you have it all written down? It's in. Or? It's it's printed out. Ah. It's in a. I've got a folder that says soups and starters, ah. and then have one of mains, one of desserts. Mm. They're all in the cupboard. I tend to when I I don't get a lot of chance in the kitchen because you know Laura's. Get out! <laughs> yeah, she's mopping, she's the mopping floor. away again. Um, but I just I tend to be a bit more like the old um, Swedish chef from the Muppets, you know, the fruity, 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 and just chucking stuff in, and I, I just I just sort of make it till it looks and tastes nice. But maybe I should start writing stuff down. Um, Jane, message me and Corin on our um, pages: Facebook, Instagram, Ben Mosby CC at uh, Corin Robinson CC, and we can share yeah. our soup recipes. It's really nice. Bacon and lentil. Yeah. Uh, spicy sweet potato or a nice potato and leek soup I've done recently as well. So, so it's that kind of time. Do you put you... butternut? Um, um, not butternut. Uh, um, butter beans in your soup in your leek and potato. No. I do before I blitz it. That's really nice. Is it? Mm. Mm. With some butter beans in, nice. Gives it a bit of body. Mm. Don't really annoys me though. Sorry, but I, I will move on in a second. You know, I, I, I make particularly soups, right? So I've made a lovely soup and I've obviously seasoned it and I've put in all the bits and pieces that I want to make it taste. Mwah. Yeah. Laura, before she's even tasted it, will salt and pepper it. Yeah. And I find that I, I, don't, I find it a little bit offensive. So like, taste it first, and if you think you need a bit more, but don't like season it before you've tasted yeah. it because I've I've done that. I've lovingly created this. I find it. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Mm. Totally agree with you. Mm. Don't, do not clip this out and send it to Laura. She'll be too busy mopping to watch it anyway. Um, with the new mop that I bought her for £3.98. Uh, right, right, this is this, the, the collection of dyes that I can never say, so I'll say it slowly. The layerable, cuttable sentiment dyes. Four piece collection. Are you having a laugh? Are you having Hello. a joke? £5.60 or $7.20. 
I was not lying to you earlier on, was I? If I said to you, when I said to you, if you've got 10 pounds or 10 dollars to spend tonight, uh, you will be able to buy and have change from the majority of items. I love this collection because I think it's fun, I think it's quirky, I think it's the kind of collection that you can get starting um, to craft with, craft with the little ones with. You can almost start a little production line, you know, um, cutting out all the little bits and pieces. And I also, also think it's a brilliant one for um, using up your gubbins box, isn't oh, it? Oh gosh, using definitely. Using up scraps. Scrap box, yes, yeah, scrap it's busters. absolutely perfect for that. And it is basically like you're creating a little crafty jigsaw because you get your uh, main outline die there. So this is the let's party. So you've got the main outline die there and then you've got all of the different um, dies to be able to kind of like build up the jigsaw there so you've got your little uh, you've got your hat well there's the decoration for the hat you've got your little hearts your balloons there which you can pop in over here you've got the words themselves the let's party which you can piece in just across here and you decide the theme you decide the color and how this is going to look it's so much fun to craft with honestly and great again if you've got one of our um, smaller machines because you can run all the bits and pieces through nice and quickly you don't need to engage the bigger machine um, with a set like this so you've got your let's party then you've got your hip hip array same sort of a, uh, thing again here where you've got your, um, your your layer your map if you like and then you've got all of your different bits and pieces so you've got your hip hip hooray you've got all your stars you've got your clinking little glasses there your little bubbles which pop through then you've got this one which is uh, thanks a bunch so again your main uh, mat die there you've got your thanks a there's your bunch and there's all your flowers so you can build these up and again you don't have to always use these within um, you know, this die here you can use these individually use these separately and then you've also got your just for you which is kind of cute which is that um, little present there so again you can build it up with all the individual elements the main present the ribbon there you've got the, um, the the ribbon and the bow then you've got just for you and all of the huts it's really fun to work with as I say great as a scrap buster nonsense price tonight this should be 32 pounds it should be 40 dollars five pounds 60 or seven dollars 20 is the price on this we're gonna have a bit ever play with this with um, Corinne right now which one of the four are you going to be playing with thanks a bunch okay but which one of the four are you going to be playing <laughs> very with good, very good very good now you're going to get it says four piece collection you're going to get 36 dies in this collection mm -hmm. to go across all of these so you know it how you um color them you know the colors you choose is going to completely change it see so just for you you've got your let's party I love this as a oh. an invitation Looks when was that party really there's a party when? At Craft... 12th of yeah. December 2020. OK. I wasn't invited to that. You weren't, were you? No. Hip hip hooray. I wasn't even here. I like this <laughs> That'd one. That'd be why. So we've got the frame and then we've put that over so it actually looks like it's part of the frame. Yeah. Now that's another one of the just for you, but by changing the papers, um, then it just changes how it looks completely. I was here um, in 2020, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I think you do myself. I was here. I love this on the sort of mirror card. Yes. That's um gorgeous. and then another one with a thanks a bunch. Yeah. Lots and lots of different ways. I think personally, I think the packets do them a little bit of a disservice because they've literally put them on purple piece of card. Yeah. And you see seen from those examples mm. that they can be really, really fun and exciting to do. Okay. Now I've just gone to you to put these all out and I am missing one of my little flower dies. Oh. I have actually fin I've actually got one that I made up at home. Okay. So I'll, I'll do it the best I can and then just show you the concept. Right, so as Ben said, you've got your outside die. Let's pin that down. For this one, I've got, this is my um, bunch, the word bunch, so I'll put that on white. Then I've got, this is my, if I turn it around, thanks her. And then <laughs> I've got a flower and I'm yep. gonna do those in pink. So, you know, you pick which, oops, whichever colours work for you. So it'd be nice as well to use these if you've only got a mini or a midi, these are perfect, oh, yeah, aren't they? At home when I was prepping, yeah. I, did, I, did them, um, I did them all individually on mm. my mini, um, midi, mini, 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 I think it's right. Right, so put those through. And I've only just used my larger plates just to put them all on, and I could have actually got a lot of those through my smaller ones. But I am actually going to pick up that because I want a few more flowers. So let's pick up that from there. You know what I was saying about your mini and your midi being complementary yeah. to your main machine? So just to prove that I'm going to be... I've just used my large machine just so that I could get all of those on there. But I'm now going to... I want a couple more flowers. So what I'm going to do... Pop that one out. Where's the rest of my... Oh, it's there. I can get that in a minute. I want a couple more flowers. So I'm going to take this one on here. Get this little scrap 
put that onto there. Then I'm going to get my mini, put it through. Oh, look, our Craig's been doing the alphabet on the plastic sheet, I can see. Oh, yeah, you did it yesterday. Yeah, because everything, all of the letters in the alphabet yeah. are in perfect positioning. A good tip, really good tip. Oh, yeah. There it is, felt that click then. I wanted another pink. I'll have to remember I've got some on here, not to brush them off. To pop that through there. That one's going to come out and the centre. And then I've got my bunch on there. Oh, that was my... Hey. <laughs> I've written some notes on the back of there. <laughs> oh, well, it's on the back. Hopefully they weren't uh, crucial to any further part of the show. No, it was obviously I was writing down what I'd been using. It wasn't the recipe for the bacon and lentil soup, It was wasn't it? the recipe for bacon and lentil no. soup. You're all right. I've got that. There we are. There we are. Right, so I've got those. So I've got all of the bits cut out. Obviously, I should have some small flowers, but they're missing. But we can work it. So the thing to do is the, what you've got to remember is you have got... You've got the picture on the front of the package yeah. to show you where everything where goes. Because obviously goes. you're going to change the colours. Now, for me, a pair of tweezers is essential when doing mm. this. This absolutely, especially, and a pair of tweezers without glue on is also good. So I'm going to start with my um, stem first. Mm -hmm. So take that out again. Like you said, these were literally just scraps of. Um, scraps of uh, cardstock that yeah. I had. I've always got quite a lot by my machine. I'm going to put a bit of glue on my glass mat. Do you have a designated scrap box or a, like a gubbins box? No, it all. I sort of sit it behind my paper trimmer. No, it's not in my handbag. I, was pulling, I wasn't really pulling it out of my handbag. I had a box. Right, so I'm going to put that one on first. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go with my bunch. Just makes, looks to me like it's going to work well this way. So, and everything has got, you know, you can see the indents of where everything, don't put the die in there, where everything needs to go. Yeah. So we can take that and then I can tap that one into my glue as well. Use your dotty tape pen if you want. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so then we can pop, you can see, look, you know that's got to go in there. And then you can see, look, the shape. Once you put the words on, can you see, look, you've got these bits here. They just hug the letters. Mm. So you know you've got it in the right place. Then I'm going to let's go in with a couple of my flowers. Kathy's just told me she's got her order in. Was that for this collection, Kathy, or have you bought something else? Let me know. Let me know what you've ordered today, everybody. I'm so interested as to what you're picking up, whether that you're getting the newbies, you're getting the new midi, you're getting the deals from the craft bolt. Um, Jennifer Love just saying, I've got these dies and they are fun and they make quick and easy cards. They do. And look at this, you even know which sort of orientation your, your flowers need to go because, um, you know, everything just fits, you know, it just, it just fits in there. Now, you, there are some small ones, but mm. like I said. Right, so the next thing I want to do, where's my tea gone? What did I do with my tea? So... A cup of tea? No, I had a tea on this and it's oh. disappeared out. They're individual yeah. letters. I'm just going to show you a bit of what, how to put this together. So I've got two A's. I'm going to pop this one. Now, tip that I would give you is when you're doing this, start from both ends. Because the first time I put this together, I had to sort of do an adjustment. Because uh, I'd, yeah. I'd spread out a little bit too much. Where did my tea go? I can't see where my tea went. It's on the... No. Oh, no, that's the eight. It's not. We'll start here, and then I'll, I'll find it in a minute. Tanks I've, a bunch. I know. I have got a finished one, as I said. Right, so my tea should go there. So my H should go there. And then it's where you have to make sure you spell right. <laughs> and then you just pop them. <laughs> ha! A bunch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, well, you're going to get the gist. Yeah. Pop them onto here. Han! A bunch. I'm annoyed. Where did it? I can't see it anywhere. You'll probably like, find it on your person later on tonight. Oh, always. Mm. There we go, and then... It's not under the um, I'm gonna have a look plate, a is it? I'm going to have a look. It's not on my plate, is it? Did it stick to... The... What was that? Oops, oh, so you went 
<laughs> Somebody went. Oh. So was something stuck to the back of the plate? Something pink? I don't know if that was. Oh, it was just a pink uh, dot. Right. Okay. So you got it like that. Thanks a bunch. We get there. The... We go. Yeah. There How we about go. One I pre prepared earlier. Do you know, what? I'm going to put that in the bin and then I'm going to turn around and there's going to be my tea, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So there we go. But if I needed to, if I needed to cut it out again, it really wouldn't have been the end of the world. No. Because it? it's so so quick. Just see, not stuck to the back of there. So you know, absolutely, really, really, really pretty. Let me just get rid of that glue. Just wipe the glue off my there. Right, so then I'm going to see if I can find my piece of paper that I wrote it down on. Lovely I think this will again. say it with flowers. Yeah. I think and a cut. That's probably what that piece of paper was that I've just it was look. Paper, say it with flowers. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Oops. At I least you're remember. using every last little bit and piece of uh, cardstock that you've got yep. over there, even your instructions. And then this is Lilac Centura Pearl. Yep. Now, I just want to show you something, something that I often do. We, we talk about our mats and layers, and people often ask us about that. Now, if I take this, my say it with flowers, and put it on to there, I think that looks really nice. Yeah. But the difference when you put a very slim white border on I think that looks much mm. better. Yeah, it does. Because you get that proper break between the purple and the and the pattern. And for me, it's just something that I like to do. It gives it a bit more of a professional look as well, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. But try it. See what it looks like. It's only a piece of white card. If you really don't like it, you're just going to use this on the next time you do some die cutting, aren't you? Yeah. So you've really not lost anything. So put that one on to there. That's going to go... Just like that. So I wanted to show you that. Then we can pop this onto here. The next bits I've got ready quite quickly. So that's going to go on. And this is so different from anything else that I showed you earlier because it just is. Now I've got my textures embossing folders. So we've got one of our textures embossing folders, and I just I die cut the sh the oval first before I did the embossing. So I'm going to bring that over to the right. I'm not putting it in the centre. Then I've just got a circle with our um, stitched edge circles. Um, and um, I might have been doing some splatting on a piece of card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No wastage here, everybody. No this wastage is what I here. love. This is brilliant. And then we can then foam pads on the back of here just to give it a lift. Now, I don't know about you crafters at home, I have lots and lots of pre-bought flowers. Yeah. And that was just some pre-bought flowers. And I often sit and do this and make little sprays. And pre-made flowers as well, right? Yeah, pre-made flowers that I pre-made onto just a piece of cardstock. Mm. And I've got, I've got bunches of them, loads of them. And I just thought, oh, have I got purple and pink? And I did. So that was really fortuitous. It worked really well. Thank you, yes, Jimmy. And I just thought, just to finish this off, I'd put a tiny little dot there, and then, oh, this looks a little bit, let's quickly tie myself a bow, and pop that onto there, and then. That's very pretty. How about that? Yeah. Lots of white space, we talk about this quite Good a lot, though. don't we? White but, space is nice. But you can see why I've brought that over to the right-hand side, mm. so that the flowers then sort of balance it out. Very, okay. very beautiful, that card. Hey, and again, all very achievable. Taking things um, to that point where if you are new, showing you that it is achievable for you. Uh, Hillary says, I've ordered the statement dies. I have two already, but the price was so good. Um, we'll get those up for you a little bit later on because we've got those on the show. Uh, Lynn says, Caden says hello. That's her grandson. Caden says hello Caden. to Ben and Corin and everyone else listening. Hi, Caden. Hi, Caden. Nice to have you with us. Um, thanks for watching. Hi also to Jennifer Love, who says, hello. Uh, so many temptations today. This weekend, I will be finishing undecorating the house. Oh, oh yes, it's Christmas. Uh, and then working on my crafts in my she shed. Um, and most people taken down, today's the day, isn't it? Twelfth night. Fifth, so t yeah, well, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, six, three, seven, three, eight, nine, three, nine, three, nine, one, two, three, four. Well, yeah, five today. So you need to have them down by tomorrow. Right. Otherwise oh, my mum's doing hers on Sunday, but... Uh, we did ours, well, yesterday. Sad, isn't it, when you go back to the house and, you know, it has all yeah. your Christmas lights up and it's all sparkly and Christmassy and then you get back to your house and it's just like... Oof. Never mind. 
soon be Christmas again. Yeah, I, I know all, this, all the Christmassy bits in the studio disappeared. Um, yeah, the Christmas trees went earlier on. If you were watching on the earlier show, and you heard the that was the baubles falling off the tree because they didn't they didn't undecorate the trees here before they took them out. They just took the trees out fully decorated. So they didn't have to do it again next year. You see, lazy. Um, got my order in, says Kathy. Uh, Stephanie says I need to plug in my phone. G2 to the rescue. Funnily enough, talking about that, we're going to come on to that in a second. Um, also, hi to uh, Jane. He says beautiful. Thanks a bunch for the gorgeous card, Corin. Says Stephanie. There you go. See what you did there. Very. Uh, and Chrissy Mahoney says, that's so pretty, Corinne. Absolutely agree with all of you. Listen, if you want to go for this collection, I mean, again, I send this a lot today. If you're not buying this today at this price, A, you've already got it, or B, you're never going to buy it because we're never going to go lower than that. Never going to go lower than £5.60 or seven twenty. As As Corinne was saying, you've got in here 36 individual dies across this collection. The price per die is quite simply unheard of and as you've seen it's quick easy to craft with if you're new to craft today these are the kind of um, sets I think that you're going to have a lot of fun with the kind of sets as well that you can go okay well I need a die cutting and embossing machine you, you could go boing I'll add that into my basket as well because you're going to run those through the midi absolutely no problem at all you don't have to go to the expense of getting one of our bigger machines just yet so um, you know it's a real win-win situation we've got just over a hundred of these remaining so still plenty to go around but do go quickly uh, just for you you're going to get uh, you're also going to get your hanks about thanks a bunch in there as well um, this one I absolutely love, which is your um, hip hip hooray. Great for little, um, as we saw, invitations as well, not just for uh, card projects. I think they'll be absolutely brilliant. Uh, the Let's Party being a case in point here. I think that might be my favourite one, actually. But think about all of those scraps that you've got. Think about all of those uh, bits and pieces of card slot that you don't know what to do with. That's where sets like this come in. Uh, £5.60 or $7.20. Take it or leave it, folks, because as I say, it ain't going to go lower than that. Um, we do have the new MIDI in stock, which we'll talk about in just a little while. Also, still in stock and still at that crazy low, ridiculous price is the Gemini 2. I uh, heard from Stephanie just a few moments ago there. He was just saying, oh, do you know what? Phone's running out. I'm going to charge me phone off the back of me uh, G2 because, of course, you can. Uh, you've still got all of the power and the precision that you would expect from your Gemini in the Gemini 2, but you've got all of those extra upgrades, all of those extra kind of... Um, um, features within the G2 which you're going to hear about in this um, uh, video in just a second the great news about this is is uh, <laughs> is uh, the price we've held it at the lowest ever price I kind of thought when we did this back along um, in 2023 it was going to be a flash in the pan couple of days it'd be gone I thought there's no way we can hold it at this price for any length of time it's still at this amazingly low price where you save £30 or $30, and then if you're in the club, you'll get your discount on top of that as well. So if you're a Platinum member, $159.99, $239.99. That, of course, is your free shipping as well. If you haven't yet shopped with us and joined Club Inspire, for goodness sake, especially if you're going to buy this today, join the club for free. You can do it on the website. You need your name, you need your email address. You create a password, you're in, and you'll get 20% off your first order, which is this price here. And then once you're in the club, uh, basically the more you uh, spend, the more points you get, the more points you get, the more you save. Sign up today. There you go. Receive 20% off your first order. But what's all the fuss about here, you cry? Why is the Gemini 2 the machine which everybody is wanting to get their hands on? Well, here is a little video Video, which will explain all about the features and benefits of this amazing machine. Introducing the Gemini 2. Our brand new electronic die cutting and embossing machine has all the power and precision of the original Gemini, but with updated functions and innovative new features. Faster and quieter than ever before, the Gemini 2 does all the hard work for you. Cut out the most intricate designs in seconds and all at the touch of a button. Technology to apply higher pressure than many other machines offers perfectly crisp and clear results every time. The Gemini 2 has the power to take creative projects of all shapes and sizes in its stride. It will cut through a range of materials, from card and paper to cork, thin metal, leather and multiple layers of fabric. So you can save time on your paper craft, sewing and multimedia projects. A new and improved optical sensor runs the full length of its 9-inch platform offering edge-to-edge -edge precision with cutting plates of any size. 
Pause, rewind, and resume functions take the guesswork out of crafting. Smooth gliding feet make light work of moving and maneuvering your Gemini 2, and a turntable offers 360 degrees of crafting freedom. Neat storage compartments hold craft tools so they're always at your fingertips right when you need them. A built-in media stand and three USB charging points invite you to craft along with your favorite tutorials and workshops on your tablet or phone. Easy to use and with everything you need to get started right out of the box, the Gemini 2 is for beginners and experienced makers alike. From scrapbooking and home decor, to handmade cards, quilting and everything in between, bring your creativity to life with the Gemini 2. There you go, um, all the details you need just there. Um, I mean, grab it whilst you can, I know it again, even though we've got this amazing deal on it, it is a considered purchase, but it is a great time to buy it. At some point in the future, I'm kind of thinking it's gonna go back up to the price that it should be at. So for goodness sake, don't wait until that point. Maybe you've got a bit of Christmas money. Uh, maybe you've got one of our um, e-gift cards um, to spend. It's a great deal today. Lots of you have been shopping for the G2 already in 2024. Lots of you have been shopping for the Gemini MIDI today as well. The brand new Gemini MIDI, which was literally uh, thrust into my lap a little bit earlier on. Um, very excited about this was I, because up until that point, I was the only person in this fair land with the Raspberry Gemini MIDI. Uh, now you've got the opportunity to join that elite club because we have got, well, we had 200 of these. They've already been selling like hotcakes. So less than 200 of these to go round now. If you already have a Gemini MIDI, I'll put this out here, be very clear, very transparent. If you've already got a Gemini MIDI, there is nothing different about this Gemini MIDI in terms of what it will do for you. The only difference about this one is the fact that you've got it in the um, matching raspberry colors to go with your mini, which you might already have, and of course your Gemini 2. So it's a nice way to be able to match up all of your machines. But if you've already got a Gemini MIDI like I have, then you have to weigh up that thing of, right, okay, well, I've already got the MIDI which is doing that job. So do I need another one? Maybe I don't need it, but do I want another one? I do want it. I've, I've heard both sides of the story today in the comments. I've heard people go, well, I've already got the original MIDI, so I'll stick with that. And I've also heard other people going, well, do you know what? I really, really want to kind of have that family of Raspberry machines, so I'm gonna get it anyway. It's entirely up to you. But same thing with this one. It is super portable. You've got your suckers on the bottom there, so wherever you um, place this, it's gonna stay in place. It's gonna stay stable. Um, you've got your um, crank on the side there, and again, whether you're left-handed or whether you're right-handed, you're gonna be able to die cut. You're gonna be able to um, do your embossing like an absolute pro and it's going to do it for you like a dream the reason why i love this the reason why you guys love this of course you've got the practicalities of the fact that it is still super super powerful it's portable it's still precise but you've got the simplicity of the fact that you don't have to think about plate combinations plastic folder which you get included within the box that's where you're going to be doing all of your die cutting don't forget we saw earlier on on the show with um corin again if you if you can um, flip this around you're going to get um, longevity out of your actual folder because that's where you will do your cutting and then you're going to get your um, your shim originally purple with the original Gemini MIDI with the Raspberry MIDI it's just a, um, a clear shim that you're going to be using for your embossing when you're using your 2D folders 3D embossing folders of course you're just going to be popping straight through your machine so it is available for you only 200 people initially will get their hands on this if you haven't got a Gemini MIDI and you are looking to start doing some die cutting and embossing, if you're looking to just getting into paper craft and card making, I cannot recommend this particular machine highly enough, whether it was the purple one or whether it's the raspberry one. It's at the usual price you could get it at 55.99 or 87.90 platinum. Um, but as I say, if you've already got the MIDI, you then weigh up the kind of pros and cons of going, well, do I need another one? Do I want another one? I'll leave that entirely up to you. But as I've said, launching today, no doubt you'll see more of it across the weekend as well um, but there are less than 200 chances to jump in and grab this machine over to you on that one I can recommend it highly as I say uh, $55.99 is your platinum price or $87.90 if you're shopping in the US of A 
just gone seven o'clock UK time. Welcome to the show. If you've just joined us, uh, it's me, it's Corin, it's Dean, it's Jamie, it's Jake, and it's Haley. That is your top team this evening um, on Crafters TV for your final hour of Friday. Uh, Jamie saying it is the dream team this evening. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, dream team for a Friday. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Still opportunity for you to get in touch. Let's make this a nice, fun, interactive last hour. Hour. What do you want to see? What do you want to know? What do you want us to show? What do you want us to do? What questions do you want to ask? We're all about New Year, New Craft, don't forget. So um, all about helping you to perhaps um, start a new crafty discipline. Perhaps, potentially, if you've joined us for the uh, first time this year, uh, getting you into craft you know, full stop. Uh, it's all about that. We've been focusing each and every day on different crafty disciplines. So on the days I've been in, we've looked at mixed media. Yesterday we were looking at uh, scoring, making all of your different card blanks, making boxes, all these kind of different things. And today all about die cutting. Each and every day when we uh, bring you these uh, New Year New Crafts, we then discount items on the website to do with that particular discipline. So you'll find today loads of deals when it comes to die cutting, all right? More deals to be added each and every day right up until the 7th of January. Today was a little bit of a different day in the fact that as well as it being New Year New Craft, we had a brand new launch for you as well. Um, so let me take you around that. Oh, Christine Mahoney, let me sort this out for you, sorry. Ben, Ben, you look so naked without your trophy, where is it? Yeah, I've got the trophy. New Year's, New Year's Eve. Solid oh. gold, that. Wow. It was a very, very um, highly contested category. Lots of people up for the vote. It was the, it was the, it was the for the presentation lead of the year uh, award. And I, I, how many what? How many people nominated? It doesn't matter how many people were nominated. I beat off, I beat off all comers. I be off. I be off all comers to win this prestigious award. There is a name strap somewhere um, in your little pile of name straps, which says Ben Mosby presentation lead. Dot dot dot. Apparently, um, because there are various people who like to have like their awards on there. Yeah. Name straps. Like Craig Indeed. has got his now, which says Hogmanay Hero. Do you know he won an yeah. award down at Hobby Maker? Yeah. So, thanks, Christine, for remembering. Don't laugh, everybody. This is serious. This might be fun for you, it's a career for me. <laughs> um, anyway. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Gonna get it engraved this weekend as well. <laughs> um, Lace Nesting Dies, yes, uh, our 11-piece showstopper collection launched today, being very popular. Lots of you jumped in and grabbed these uh, this morning on Wake Up Call, also during the launch as well. Um, if you just love the look of the dies, if you've been looking at these today and you're thinking, I'm going to jump in and get them, you can get individuals, right? So you can pick and choose, make up your own smaller bundle. If you just want the dies on their own, they are also available for you as a six-piece bundle. It's actually 18 dies, but the six-piece set is available for you individually. Most people have gone for the showstopper, which is all of these fantastic, beautiful new lace nesting dies, along with a host of other goodies, which I will show you, rattle through fairly quickly. But hopefully you've seen today, if you've been watching all of the shows, just how wonderful and versatile these dies are. And we always chat about this, don't we, um, Corinne? When it comes to nesting dies, I know these are very decorative, very beautiful, very detailed, but nesting dies, your bread and butter, really. And for anyone, perhaps, who's starting off in craft, you'll always come back to and want to have lots of nesting dies you, at your disposal, won't you? You do. They're, they're, they're like the scaffolding to then use other to use other ones. Now, mm. um, we're gonna use this, I'm, I've changed the demo up, so you gotta bear with me, but I'm gonna use these now, um, and I'm gonna use some of my sentiment dies. You're also gonna be bringing in some of your previously used um, papers. Um, you may be gonna go in with your florals, or whatever you want to do. I mean, the last one we just did, the Thanks a Bunch, would fit beautifully in the middle of here, if yeah. we were going to mix and match them. Um, you know, they really are the scaffolding that will then highlight or, 
uh, illuminate a lot of your other crafty products that you've got. So yeah, I think they're key, absolutely. Yeah, you've got them in a whole host of different designs as well. As I said, if you want to go individually, you can. But look, you've got um, two circles. So you've got your delicate doily frames here. So within each of them, you get your uh, larger outer frame and then those two smaller frames as well. Two sets of circles for you. The first one was the delicate doilies. This one is your uh, lace doily set. Then you're going to get, I suppose, what is your rectangle really with that antique frame. You're also going to get that beautiful oval. We've got, um, we, we, you can go back and watch it on the previous show, but we've got a fantastic concept suite as well where you can sort of um, pick out lots of different ideas and different ways to use these. I really like that little easel card from the concept suite where we had that um, uh, in portrait mm -hmm. and then had the, the rest on the stopper yeah. on, a, on a landscape. Look really, really cool. Uh, you've got your square. This one is called your floral lace frame um, if you want to go for that. And then you've also got in the bundle the hearts, um, which are called your swelling hearts. No, uh, that they have been very, very popular in individually as well. That was the um, oval card I was just yeah, talking about the beside the studio. It. So, so clever and classy, it is, but easy it? to do. Really simple. We think of that with your, de your decorative papers, you know, your sentiments. That could be a frame yeah. for a picture. It's entirely up to you how you use it. But yeah, really, really versatile and um, dies. Um, as far as the showstopper is concerned, you then get all of the dies in and on top of that for an extra £15, $15, you get £40 or $55 worth of goodies. So you get this beautiful um, card pad. So that is all of your pastels in um, double-sided pearl card and linen card. We're going to give you a um, sequin pack. So you've got your Starlight Wave sequins included in there. You're also going to get uh, 12 sheets of your heat resistant acetate alongside that we are going to give you one of our uh, dotty tape pens so the original dotty tape pen this one with the 22 meters 72 feet uh, of your dots and also card uh, 60 sheets of your multi-purpose stamping card whatever you call it it's that card stock we're giving you everyday card stock your bread and butter card stock um 60 sheets of that that equates to an extra 40 pounds or 55 dollars you pay 15 pounds extra within the the price of course and that is 68 pounds or 84 dollars you then also open up your bonus buy as well, um, which I think some people have taken advantage of, some people have just gone for the showstopper, but if you want more sentiments to work alongside this, if you, particularly if you're new to crafting as well, this bundle I would think is a necessity to buy alongside your showstopper. Pop your showstopper in your basket, pop this into your basket, and then this, this price will halve automatically for you. But you've got loads of different sentiments in here in die and stamp form. So you've got your um, cheers here, you've got your um, cascading sentiments, so that's your love stamp and die set. We've popped in one of our ever ever popular shadow sentiment stamp and die sets we popped in sentiment sets from various collections so i know corin's used this quite a few times today to say it with flowers collection we've popped in the moment in time sentiments from the venetian grace collection we've got stamps and um, sentiments from the masquerade ball collection we've got your wedding invitation die which came from the garden of love really nice thinking of you um die two dies there actually uh, from our uh, Gemini Expressions, and then you've also got this beautiful, um, very uplifting die set, which is one of our fabulous inspirational sentiment dies, which says every day might not be good, but there is something good in every day. That is a fantastic bundle of kind of starter sentiments for you if you are new to craft, or indeed if you just want to kind of bulk up your crafty stash when it comes to sentiments. Bang it into your basket. £32 or $40 if you're buying it on its own. If you get the showstopper, add this in, and that price will halve for you. Um, right, uh, ordered it, says Kathy. Cannot wait to get the dies. Jen says, just realised my crafter's TV addiction. Uh, listening to the show in my car on the way to the grocery store. When I got there, I ordered the mesmerising glitter showstopper. Today's showstopper and the bonus buy. That is what you call a great shop on the way to the grocery store, Jen. I like that, top shopping. Uh, and Linda says, I bought the heart nesting die as well. Yeah, let us know if you didn't go for the showstopper, which of the individual ones did you buy? As I said, I am um, pretty sure that it's the heart one that's gonna be the most popular. And also, um, who was it who was asking? Uh, Lynn was just asking about the um, the Gemini MIDI. Um, yes, that is still available. The brand new one, new colour. Um, the plates 
folder you get with this, not plates, uh, but six by nine is the size of the, um, the, the folder uh, that you've got within your MIDI. So hopefully that answers that one. Uh, hi also to Robin McMorrow who says, I'm currently writing a list of all the birthday cards I need to make throughout the year. Are you going to be busy, Robin? That's the question. Um, do let us know. Keep the comments coming through. What are you up to this weekend? What have you been buying? What are you loving on the show? What do you want to see? Uh, we've got around about 15 minutes to go and we are going to see another demo with your lace nesting dies. Do check back on the earlier shows because we've shown you, I've currently shown you plenty of demos. Um, so hopefully if you are buying this, you can come back to today and be inspired by all of the shows. Which of the dies are you going to be using? I'm going to be using delicate doilies, the circles. Nice. And look what I've just found. What? Literally, the tea. I've just looked down and there is, look, there's the tea. What? There it was. It wasn't there a minute ago, was it? It wasn't. It really wasn't. I don't know where it's been. Okay, so let's start off first. I'm going to take my lace um, doily. Yep. It's a delicate doily. And I'm going to pop all three of them in together like that you could use your magnetic um, shim if you want to or you can just take them down it's up to you so just put a piece of tape across all three and that'll hold them nice and tight and then run those through my die cutting machine and they're going to go through there now we're going to cut these a few times because i haven't got any ready cut because this demo was going to be with the delicate lace or create the crate card the lace crate card oh yeah but we sold, sold it out, sold we? Wake up call, sold it we? out in wake up call Yikes. and i thought well actually it's still a really nice demo yeah. and it will work just shows you it and that just proves how versatile things like this are doesn't it because you know if you can swap and change them around yeah so let's just go and see where is the release hole that there's a little cluster there so i think it's going to be just here uh, oh, there we are, found Done that it. one. Nice. And again, we've got little frames if you want to use them. So, you know, make sure you keep those if they're going to be super useful to you. And then there it is. I could see that one. I've got, look at this. Now, this mm. is our card, known by other name, 300 GSM. Yep. And it's cut absolutely beautifully. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going to have to give it a tap. I Come suppose on. it's harder to find the release holes on dies which have so much detail, especially if they are little holes yeah. themselves, isn't it? Yeah, that one doesn't want to... Come on. Ah, there it is. There we go. I'll try not to do that, but there we go. Look at that. Now, these will nest absolutely perfectly in there, yeah. but I thought there's an... I might need another... I need another white set in a minute, but what I also want to do is... Get rid of all the bits out of there. Um, what I also want is I want some matte layers. Now, if you've got nesting circles, brilliant. You could do it with that. Um, I'm here and I'm having to put this together because we've sold stuff out. So, and I don't have them. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put that one on there. This one down there, just excuse the pen mark. I was trying to find some pink card and I'm going to put that one on there yeah so I'm not nesting them inside each other I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be actually using these pink doilies what I am going to be using is the mats that come out of the middle okay yeah mm -hmm. so that's why they're not nested yeah there was a reason if they were nested I'd have got frames like that mm. and I didn't I wanted the solid la layer so we shall see how it goes we should be able to sort it out I'm sure we can there we go. This is a bit like a craft off. There we go. So I've got one and I've got two. And I've also got a third one, which I don't actually need for now, but we'll just keep that. So let's just clear these out because I do need another white layer. It's like I said, oh, I wonder if I've got... Oh, look, I've got... I did cut some earlier. Which ones are these? So does that match up? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Organised. Oh! There we go, I don't need to cut anymore. There is a reason why I keep everything on the sides of the table till I've finished. <laughs> so we can just clear those out. Like I say, I might use them. I'll decide in a minute. We'll decide. Come on, come out. Oh, this one. They've been a little bit uh, know, tricky today, aren't they? It is. It just takes, because like you said, there are so many release yeah. holes on this one and it's, you should, it should sort of jump out at you because it's different. But what it's doing as well is it's cleaning my dye at well, the same the, time. That's it, isn't it? So I'm not too concerned. If I go all the way around, it's going to find me 
that release hole hopefully in a minute come on it's going to be the, there it no. was the last one you pressed there you go we done it no oh i must have done them oh look at that it really genuinely was the last was one. the very last piece that was typical wasn't it well, at least you've got okay. a clean die now i have got a very clean die let's put those there so let's have a think about what we're going to do so because we're changing our mind about this so i'm going to do an easel card so we're going to pop this on so this is um country lane yeah country lane papers so there we go and let's pop this one onto here Ooh, that way around we can pop a little bit of glue onto there are you demoing tomorrow did you say yes. no lily's no. demoing lily's tomorrow i'm over where you are and debbie's i'm demoing on demo sunday i yeah. gotcha yeah. What, um, what's on Play Crafts right tomorrow? I don't know. They haven't told me. Oh, boom. Oh, Jamie says he doesn't even know yet. Ah, have we thought to do a game, I wonder? Oh, we have got one. Oh, there is a... Good news. There is a game, but Could... Jamie doesn't make the games, you see. Oh, can you not have a sneaky peek, see what it is? It's going to. Now, have a look now. And, and, then, and then turn Corin's... Um, uh, turn Corin's talk back off and tell me what oh, it is. No. They... Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. I want a chance to win. Lily's so competitive. Is she? Oh gosh, yes. Lily. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have oh. expected that with Lily. Yeah. Very. Com I just need. You're, to... Are you competitive though? No. I just. I just laugh. Mm. It gives me. It gives me. Um, it gives me like rumbly tummy, tummy, you know, it makes me tummy churn because it's like, I just like, oh my goodness me, what's going to happen here? I never know what's going to happen. Right, so we're making an easel card. You just never know which way it's going to go. I mean, I've had some bizarre ones that, like anagrams of flags in the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know the countries. I was just doing spelling. It was just like a spelling test. Um, what else have we had? Oh, I've had some, I've had some, some mm. interesting ones over time. I've just heard what the game is tomorrow. Have you? They just told me in my ear. Can I, can I, 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 it doesn't really matter, does it, if I give Corin a bit of a heads up? Because I, I don't think that's something you can really go and research. It doesn't, you can't really research. Do you want to know what the, so tomorrow's Play Your Crafts Right apparently is based around common New Year's resolutions. All right, okay. So that's it. Okay, yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that, is no, there? No, you're not going to be able to do a lot of prep into that, are you? But no. You do have a slight advantage, I suppose, over, over Lily. Yeah, but Lily sits in the room where they're made. Oh, yeah, that's really unfair. Yeah. So she, she, who, who, who normally makes the games? Sam Kane does it. So she's probably like this, isn't she? She's probably like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, I'm sure it's all above board and may the, may the best person win. I wasn't right. against her when it was the artists. I think she was producing the show when it was the artists. Oh my goodness me! She knows all her artists. As in, uh, well, as in, not music. Like, as in Van Gogh and yeah. Monet. Oh, she's oh. really good at artists. Really? Oh my what, goodness me! What were you me. seeing? Just fa famous paintings. Yeah, and they were tough. They were tough. She does not give clues. The one I think I would have done quite well on, and I can't remember who was on it. I know Craig was on it because he said he absolutely bombed on it, was um, Flags of the World. Yep. I would have done well on that. You would have? I would have, yeah. Oh, I, no, I know I... me flags. Do you? Mm. Um, but Is I think, that, was that Lily and Craig? Yeah, so Lily won that one. i tell you the other one you've got to watch out for on um, Play Your Crafts Right. Um, Debbie Robinson. She, oh, she, she makes out she doesn't know anything. And uh, every time I've played on Place Crafts, I say, oh, I'll be rubbish at this. Oh, I'm no, oh, I'm no good at this, that, the other. And then she absolutely aces it. And, yeah. she, and she, she lulls you into a false sense of security every single time. Because then you relax and you go, oh, Debbie's going to be rubbish, so I don't have to be on the game here. Yeah. And then she's like, smashes it. Smashes it. There we go. Yeah, she is so good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first layer on. Then you remember that matte layer that I created? I'm going to then put my second one onto the matte layer. So this, you can see, you can see the workings of my mind here because we're going with this as we, mm. as we do. So that's going to go there, but I think we're going to lift that. And then my third one, we're going to go on here. And that's going to go on 
there and we can oops some pink look pink and white and pink and craft card look yeah. amazing they are aren't they they mm. really are made to go together aren't they so let's just turn that one. Oh. Oh, Jamie's got Oh, the, the most today. common, it's, for me, that's pink. Most common colour you craft with is what Jamie asked. Yeah, mine is pink. Pink. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, what do I, I like my blues and my greens. I'm trying to think, like, the, a lot of the cards that I've made have normally been for, well, they have been for, for Laura for, like, special occasions. As you guys know, I, I tend to try and make, like, a Valentine's card. Yeah. I made a card on our anniversary, made a card for a birthday. Um, so it's it's normally like reds, isn't it? You know, reds for for love. She's kept all the cards I've made her, which I think is quite cute. I think normally... Colin kept them all for, for a few years. Yeah. And then it's sort of, it's sort of getting a bit out of hand. I did put I did put his anniversary card and his wedding card on his desk in the where the computer is Aww. the other day. But I don't know what he did with them. Well, they weren't there well, when I went in. Oh, uh, the cards that I made for Laura hung around for a bit, and whenever I make them, they always stand in the centre of, like, you know, the cards if they're on the windowsill. Where they are now, I don't know. Uh, whether she's popped them into one of her little memory boxes or chucked them in the recycling. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not quite sure, but um, right. You know. Oh, where's my other? This is this is fun. Right, hunt the pink. Oh, one. not this game again. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh. What you lost I'd, now? I couldn't find the pink one, but we're going to just do it this way. Okay. Right. I've lost another one. I'm dreadful at losing things. What, what have you lost? A frame? Yeah, the pink one. But it, oh. it's got to be around somewhere because I've cut it. I'll have a look in a minute. Yeah. I don't actually think I need it. Right, so when I make an easel card, one of the things I like to do when I do an easel card... <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi. Let me just do this as a little bit of a drop shadow. Messy over here, so isn't I'm it? So I'm looking... F Is it under there? Have a look. No. I might have dropped it, because there's a few little bits down here. I'll find it in a minute, don't worry. If I need it. No, those are the ones I can't oh. use, because... It'll, it'll all come right in a minute. <laughs> there's no Maltesers in there. It's not there, is it? No. No. Look at the state of the floor! <laughs> Look at the state of the floor! Oh my goodness! It's a bit of paper, it'll take two it's, minutes! It looks like you set off a confetti cannon! <laughs> it's, if I stand back... Oh, Jamie, you're going to ruin the camera! Look at the state of the floor! I promise you there'll be nothing on the floor when I leave! That is... you... I mean, that is showing that you've had a lot of fun today. I have! <laughs> no wonder you can't find anything. I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to bother looking anymore. No, don't no. worry. It'll appear. <laughs> It'll appear when oh. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> You're not really sorry for exposing me at sorry all, for are exposing you, Exposing you. No. Oh, dear. Not at all. No. Uh. I'm just checking it's not here. Right, we're not going to use it. No. It's fine. We don't need it. We're, cha um, we're changing this card up anyway, so nobody, nobody knows what it should have looked like. Question from anyway. Rosalind about these dies. She's just asking if whether or not these dies would cut through mount board. No. No. Absolutely not. No, no. sorry, they wouldn't. Because, um, yeah, you need your multimedia dies. And, um, no, it wouldn't because you, it, you just wouldn't go through detail. Yeah. Right. Easel card. When I do an easel card, I've got the front, the top, and I've got there. I always try to make sure there's a bit of symmetry. So you can see my paper's more or less the same. All my lines are the same. So that, that's one of the things I try to do. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I'm going to make... That shouldn't have popped up. I'm going to make it um, slightly different, but following the same pattern. So you can see I've got the white doily, and I'm going to put the white doily there. Mm. Except that this white doily has got a pink drop shadow on. Because okay. we're not going to add on height because it's inside. We'll add on the height in a different way in a minute, the stopper. So I've got the white there, so I'm just going to drop that down just here. So you can see I'm following on the same design. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same with the next layer, um, just like this. And actually, when you see where I put my stopper, I don't need the small layer. Have I just run that out? I think I might have done. Let's just see. I think that one's just run out. But that's okay because they're refillable. <laughs> hey, you just ask, haha, who's cleaning up? Me. 
I'll do it right at the end. It'll be done. By the time we go off air, that'll be to clean. To be fair, Corinne is very good at cleaning up. I do often see her after shows with the, um, the dustpan and brush. So Thank you. Credit okay. where credit's due. I do try and tell you. Right, so we've got my basis of my easel card. So we've got the different com um, combinations. So we've got white ones. Then we've used the centres to raise them up and then put that on. That's going to annoy me because that's not very um, central. Let's just try putting it back on there just like that and then we've got a mirror image down here Beautiful. so what we're going to do is we're going to need to do a stopper so I've got just a, a bow so that's why we don't actually need that middle one look do we because it would be hidden by the bow good comeback Corinne nice. I saved that one save there so let's just put some tape on there and I can put my bow in the center now if I had to put the middle one on you wouldn't be able to see it right so there's my stopper so that's going to look really pretty. Mm. So we need to do our sentiment. And for our sentiment, I'm going to use my fancy sentiment dies. Lovely. So this time we're going to use thanks a bunch. Now, if anybody saw these this morning, you will see I say, for these, in my opinion, you always need to die cut first. Yeah. Because it's a solid die. And if you stamp it first, then you're not going to be able to see... Um, where the, you know, where, where, the, where the stamp is. So take that from here. There we go. And then that is the, this is the thanks very much. Okay. Dean had three to choose from. He gave me two options in my ear. N neither of them were the right one. There's six pounds or eight bucks if you're, plat uh, if you're shopping for these today. Platinum, four pounds 80 or six dollars... 40. I don't need it. I don't need it. I worked it out. I could do 20% of six and eight. I was bang on there. I've learned from the very best over the other side of the studio. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, as we said earlier, these, you can't use the um, magnets on these oh, no. because your stamp takes the whole space. So what I tend to do, put a piece of card on there so that I don't get any that was the one that was going out. So you don't get any dots on your stamper mat. You can just see there's a few little on there. Pop that onto here. It doesn't even have to be the whole size of your, what you're die, um, stamping onto. Then I just put my magnets on. And then we can then pop that onto here. Just line that up. Mm -hmm. Now these look really lovely. Um, heat embossed yeah you could do ombre i'm just going to go really quick and simple and just do it in my quick dry somebody was asking earlier and yeah for your sentiment quick dry really works although like i say these work really really well with your pigment inks and then heat emboss them i've done that a few times so i've got my i would put my stamping mat underneath put that in there make sure it's lined up and then just press straight down all the way if I can get it in one press that's going to be best if not I can always go back in and add a bit more and then nice perfect isn't it there we go right now again just like I did earlier what I've done here is I've taken the die yep that die bit somewhere and I've turned it upside down it'll be where I've... that other bit of uh, cardstock's hiding <laughs> Probably somewhere what on the floor. What is going on tonight? Why can't I find anything? Mm. Did I put it away? I did. It's not. I put it away. So all I did was I turned that over and then I drew round the outside of the die because you've got the, effectively, you've got the border. Mm. I've been organised. And then that is going to go on there. Yeah, I tidied it away. How silly of me. How silly of me to tidy away. Rosalind just says, I find that using a dryer sheet between the paper and dye helps with intricate dye release. A lot of people do use I've that. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's quite, mm. quite a common one, but don't tend... I don't find... Yeah, I know I struggle to get that. Uh, tumble dryer sheet. Tumble dryer sheet. Stop the... Like, stops the static, doesn't it? Yeah, stops the static. Right, so I've got this on here. So I've got my thanks. I've already done my very much. Yeah. And all I've just done is I made a few little flowers. That was why I'd got splatty bits on the other bit. Splatty bits. I know. Let's see if there is um, some. I've just tidied all this up. Is there any chunky glue ready to go? 
Oh, yeah, I can get that bit out. Um, stop her out. We can say hi to Mary Pat, who's joined us. Um, hi, Mary Pat. Diane, uh, Diane Nurt, we'll answer your question in just a second. Um, Margaret Yanker says, Ben, regarding the MIDI, uh, pop the original one in your craft travel bag, or number two, donate it to a teacher with all of your duplicate dies and embossed folders. Oh. Um, and also, must just say, before I forget, because I would if I don't do it now, Terry Anderson's message saying, Ben, my youngest will no longer be a teenager. Uh, she turns 20 on Sunday. She would love it if you told her happy birthday today. So, Emma, in Ohio, a very happy birthday to you. I hope uh, you've got a fantastic day planned. Um, yeah. Loads of surprises, loads of prezzies, and um, happy birthday from all of us here at Crassus TV. Yeah, have a and lovely also, day, Emma. In me, 20. Cool. Do remember you remember that? When I was 20. Yeah. Or, all right, oh, Jamie. Shut up, Jamie. Jamie's just gone, yeah, that was last year for me. Yeah, it was just um, 24 years ago for me. 24 years ago? I wish it was four years ago. I'm not going to ask uh, Corinne. Um, 20. 33 years ago. Nearly nice. 34 years ago. That's a long time. In. Well, it must be, yeah, because my daughter's 34. So, yeah. 34. I know. So I'm just going to pop those on there. But it was good times. What was good times? Being 20. Oh, no, well, I can't really remember, to be honest with you. Can you remember? Can you remember? What, what was I doing when I was 20? Uh, what year was that? 1999. I was on the holiday parks when I was 20, so it would have been good times. Yeah. Mm. Had you met Laura? No. So the, the, there are even better times to come. Good save! Good save! <laughs> they were great times. Wow. You know, no, that was so good. <laughs> Everybody sort of held their breath then, did you hear? Collective. Although, it does make me laugh because we've got a sign up which Laura bought, I hasten to add, which is um, above the door in our utility room, which says, uh, My wife and I were happy for 20 years and then we met. <laughs> 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 like that that's just something a little bit different a nice little easel card just to show you and also the fancy sentiments as well fan bloom fantastic that what a lovely card um, well, i'll recap on the deal for you just before i do i must just ask this question because again i'll forget if i don't diana and thank you for this this is what these shows are all about today she says a quick question corinne what is the best plate combo for embossing with regular dies i have a junior thank you right Makes no difference whether it's a junior or um, or a full size one. Okay. It'd be exactly the same. So you need, if you want to do emboss, I'm just looking to mat, see. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have. Right. What you want to do, it, the one rule you need to know. So if you, not all that. You see, the, there wouldn't be a lot of point embossing with that, because when it cuts out. Yeah. I've got another one here. When it cuts out. There's nothing left to emboss with. We have dies that are cut and embossed dies. So what mm. you'd find is sometimes instead of being a cut there, it's just a hole to push the die, the, the paper through. If you're going to do that, what you want to do, if it's a cut and embossed die, put your cutting mat down, mm. then put your uh, rubber mat, your rubber shim down. Then you put your cardstock down so this would be already cut and then you'd put your die on top now the one rule you have to remember is with your rubber shim you never use your magnetic shim no so you've take you've put in your rubber shim you take out your magnetic shim and then you put in the rest of your plates Marvelous. so all you're doing is substituting your met your magnetic for your rubber easy and that goes underneath the card because what's happening is when it goes through your die cutting machine, that rubber shim is pushing the cardstock deeper into the die. So that's what you're trying to do, get that cardstock really into those embossing bits. How does it not cut through the rubber? I don't know. It's clever. Yeah, that was Same a question me. just sat in my ear. Why does it not cut the rubber? Because it doesn't. Um, Sarah Muir says, such a nice font on that, thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, Terry Anderson says, thank you, Ben and Corinne. She will be so happy. Um, you're welcome. Uh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, but like, if you ever have any little birthdays and stuff as well that you want a little mention for, or if you've got a member of the family who's watching us, um, if you want us to say happy birthday for, happy anniversary, let us know. We'll, we'll always do that. Um, oh my, says Robin McMorrow. That is gorgeous. Christy Mahoney, gorgeous card, Corinne. Uh, and Lynn says, what a lovely, lovely, sorry, 
She just says, lovely Corin, thank you. I thought she'd put, what a lovely Corin. <laughs> but she just actually put, lovely Corin. She is a lovely Corin, um, but it just says, lovely Corin, thank you. Right, before we have a quick break and give you the opportunity to get checked out, the brand new launch today, lace nesting dies. Let's just reiterate again. If you want to go for individuals of these, you can hit the website, you'll find all of them. If you just want to go for the dies in the die bundle, the six piece collection, you can. It's 56 pounds or $72 if you're a platinum member. However, the majority of people are going for the the sort of best bang for your buck, if you like, and going for the Showstopper collection. That brings you all of the brand new dies. So here we go. You have got your two um, circular collections. So this one here is your delicate doily frames. With each, of course, you get three frames, giving you 18 of your dies in total. Then you're going to receive this one, the second of the doilies, which is that lace doily frame. Um, again, so detailed, so beautiful, so much to love about these really, really intricate, uh, beautiful dies. Your rectangular one is called the antique frame. So if you want to pick that up as an individual, again, works beautifully whether you're going portrait or landscape. Then you've got that stunning oval frame. If you're looking for that individually, that one is called your ornate oval. Then you're going to receive the square, which is called your floral lace. And alongside that, the one which a lot of people are talking about is the swirling heart. Those are all of the dies, so 18 of those in total. When you go for the showstopper, you then receive all of these other goodies. It's basically an extra 15 pounds or $15 for 40 pounds or $55 worth of crafty goodies. So you're gonna receive 12 sheets of your heat resistant acetate. You are also going to get your bag of sequins. That is the Starlight Wave sequins. And you're going to receive, and again, you've seen this being used so many times today, your Dotty Tape Pen. It's the original Dotty Tape Pen, 22 metres on there, but going to be so handy to work alongside those dies because they're so super intricate. That's the stick that you want. On top of that, you're also going to receive card. 60 sheets of your everyday card, your white multi-purpose card, your white stamping card, card, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's your bread and butter, and it's always handy to have that love it that we've built that into your showstopper bundle. And you're also then going to get on top of that your 24 sheet pad of beautiful pastel cardstock, mixture of your uh, pearl cardstock, mixture of your linen cardstock in there as well, in all of those beautiful pastel colours. I think really going to come into their own those as we head into uh, the springtime. £68 or $84 is your showstopper price for everything that I've just shown you. If you get the showstopper, you then might want to take advantage of the bonus buy, which is your sentiment collection. Again, if, if you're kind of wanting to um, recreate a lot of the demos that Corinne's done today, you, you will have seen and followed that she's used quite a lot of the sentiments from this collection. So it might just be something you add in because you're going to get it for half the price on screen. So if you're platinum, it's an extra £16 or $20. If you double up, you double up, you then might want to well, work twice as quick or give some of these away as gifts. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to have the bonus buy. It's there if you go for the showstopper at half price. Uh, you're going to get this set here, this die set, which is your everyday. Might not be good, but there is something good in everyday. You're also going to get your cute little um, thinking of you die set. You are going to get a uh, wedding invitation from the Garden of Love. Also, from the Masquerade Ball, you've got your Masquerade Sentiment. A few sentiments in there, and actually you've got some um, extra little stamps in there as far as that little um, Harlequin um, um, pattern's concerned. You've got feathers, you've got that, you've got that beautiful uh, little swirl in there too. You've got your um, Venetian Grace Sentiments, plus you've also got um, your Sentiments from the State with Flowers Collection too. On top of that, you're going to get one of our Shadow Stamp um, collections, stamp and dies, and then you're also going to get your um, cascading um, die set, which is the love. So you've got that cascading love, and then you've also got your um, stamps to go in there too to create um, that sentiment. Uh, love you with love. There's loads in there. Sixteen pounds, twenty dollars is your platinum price on that. Now, oh, cheers. That, I found that on the side, you get that as well. Yeah, I lost that. Everyone's losing everything today. Everyone's losing everything. Uh, now, um, we're going to get the vote going very, very shortly indeed for the demo of the show and the demo of the day. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have a look at your mesmerizing glitter paste, which have proved very, very popular over the course of the, uh, the last couple of days. 
we um, are going to, I think, watch the little video with um, Leanne in just a few moments' time. So what you're going to get within this set are all of these amazing uh, glitters here. So absolutely beautiful in the fact that you've got all of the, um, the different colours in here uh, as far as the, uh, the glitter paste are concerned. Equinox, you've got your um, wood nymph in here, you've got your beautiful peacock, you've got that stunning enchanted lake, mermaid's tail, mystical ocean, you've also got your rose garden and then your moon bloom as well. As um, you move this around, because you've got all of those beautiful, stunning different colours of glitter particles in there, you've got different looks. Um, across all of the different glitters. You've got the different colours that come through as the light catches these in, um, in different ways. It's just such a beautiful collection. And the other brilliant thing about this, as well as you're getting all of those different colours as far as the um, individual pots of glitters are concerned, if you go back and watch the launch show with Leanne from uh, Wednesday, you'll see where her when she was using like multiples of these and creating like ombres um, across these um, as well. So you can mix and match the, the colours up to create even more different colours. Now, on top of getting all of the glitters within the um, showstopper, you are going to also get all of your um, stencils. So you're going to get your uh, geometric decor stencils, which is that beautiful Greek key. Uh, you're also going to get your 8x8 eight eight, um, backgrounds in here. You're going to get your border. You're going to get your beautiful icon included in there as well. You're also going to get this set of your stunning sun rays as well. Uh, the mesmerizing uh, sun rays come along with this. So you've got that beautiful 8x8 background. You've got that stunning uh, kind of main focal point, And then you've got your border in there as well. Then on top of that, you're going to, on top of that, you're going to get your uh, laurel leaves. You're going to get your beautiful um, elaborate stencils, which are the, um, Damask, you've got the swirls and flourishes in there too. You're going to get this set, which is called the interlocking stencils. And then finally in the set, uh, you're going to receive your contemporary trio stencils. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a look at these um, after a short break in just a few moments time. But before the break, should we get one of the votes going or should we do that now? And then we'll go to a quick break. Demo of yep. the show vote, I think, would be good. Demo of the show. I thought so I'd do my card upside down. Right, we've got three. We have, oops, the first one. Oh, you're going to have to remind me what they were, those uh, edge balls. The, yeah. The uh, edge edgeable balls. duos. Edgeable duos, Brett, there we yeah. go. Mm -hmm. Then we had the thanks a bunch. And then we went back to the main launch today for those gorgeous, gorgeous nesting dies with the fancy sentiments. So you've either got the edgeable duos, the thanks a bunch, or the launch today. So one, two, or three. Um, you've got plenty of time to get your votes coming in on that. Once we've got the vote through on that, we'll do the vote for the demo of the day. When we come back from this short break, we're just going to have a bit play with the uh, mesmerizing glitter paste to kind of finish the show. Uh, so that'll be quite nice. Um, that's coming up. You head to the checkout. Check out all the deals on the Craft Vault, for goodness sake. There's so many there, but not huge amounts of stock. And we'll come back with the result of that, the final vote, and some play with the glitters in about four minutes' time. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what she do? <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I watch you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. 
Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. There once was a man who was very crafty. His name was Craig from Carnoustie. He joined the team on Crafters TV. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He wanted to prove he was the man, but he lost at Craft Wars to Leanne. But two weeks later, he beat Jan. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He did so well on Crafters TV, Sarah sent him off to Germany, where he did some work for QVC. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. His crafting skills, they aren't half bad. In fact, I'd say they're totally rad. That's mainly down to his favorite foam pads. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. The crafters, they loved him a lot for his charm and skill. They went quite potty. They nicknamed him the hardy Scotty. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. In the crafting world, he's standing tall. He's the best Scottish crafter of them all. Catch him Monday to Friday on his wake-up call. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. Hi. I was just dancing there. Da, 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 da. Now, I was just running to get the, um, the cards because you've got your votes in. Thank you, everybody, uh, for the demo of the show. So, let's do the vote for the demo of the show. Then we'll do the vote for the demo of the day, and then we'll have a play with the glitter paste with Corinne. Demo of the show. Three. Thank you, everybody. Ah, easel card. There you go. Thank you very much. So, demo of the day. Was that the one you did this morning? Was that one? That was. It was this one. It said she was in the back. Does it say launch or wake up call? Oh. I could have sworn that was this morning. Was that wake up call? Yeah. One. Two. Whoa! Three. Three. Two. One. Vote now. You've got about, I don't know, five minutes to get your vote in. Um, whilst you do that, we are going to have a look at your mesmerizing glitter pastes. Um, we showed you the details for the showstopper. Again, with those, you can go through the glitter paste individually if you want to. You can also pick up the individual bundles of the stencils if you want as well. All on the website for you. Best value for money, those to go with the showstopper. I reckon we've got about six or seven minutes, Corinne, here to have a bit yeah, of a play. So what are you going to show us? We're not going to do demos no, as such. We're going to do techniques down. and yeah. things like that. Right, OK. So whilst we had that break, I quickly got my two of my duet ink pads. 
there we go i got my spring um spring buds and my lemon meringue okay and i just made a nice inky background now what you could then do is you could get your stencil the one we're going to use and you could stencil through there let's just quickly do that that'll take seconds let's just do that just to add a little bit more to it so i could get a little that's green curry that's yellow mm -hmm. we could then add in a little bit more you don't use it all you just use little bits just little bits through there this is very on the hoof but it's often the best way you know you can get I some quite like it yeah you get some amazing um results so if i then pull that off can you see we've now got we've got the splots but we've also got little bits so i'm going to pop that back not quite right i'm going to try and get it just off if that makes a bit of sense so we can put that onto there now i thought we would use i like this one because it felt to me like it was the right colors so this is wood nymph oh yeah beautiful this one they all are ben mm. Oh, this is a new one. Did we not use that? I have not used that yesterday. I could have sworn she wore that, uh, used that one, but never mind. Or is it sealed? No, it's, it's a new one. Still sealed. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm. Look. All those different colours. Now, these are what they call your, let me see on here, mesmerising glitter pastes. They're a bit chunkier than yeah. our previous ones. Mm. So you do apply them slightly differently. So if I was doing this on my previous one, I would just drag that and I would drag it across. But what you could probably find is you're going to take a lot of it back out. Yeah. Because the chunks are so big yeah. that if you try and skim across, I can see the straight away there, look, it just takes it back out again, mm. which is not what we want. So what I need to do is more pat it in. Yeah. It's just, you know, pop it on there. And, and if you watch back um, with our Leanne, she shows you how she cleans up the yes. stencils by, um, by using, you know, using it. And I'm just going to pop this bit. Oops, there's a little bit of my foil just gone in there so just more or less just pop it on and give it more of a you can can you hear it's not making that scraping noise no. you normally get because we don't want to take it back off and i just want to get bits of it i don't want to get it all you could go all over if you wanted i could you know but where i go i want to make sure i actually put it on properly where i go now once i pull this off what you would then do is just pop your stencil into a bath of water you yep. know a, a container a bowl um a, whatever you want i often have one of my a4 storage boxes full of just a little bit of washing up liquid and that will work really well so what you want to do is i'm just going to lift it i'm going to hold down my cardstock and i am just going to lift it away yes and look at that doesn't that look fantastic by not using the whole stencil i think you've got a better result by you know just using bits and that is quickly done you know on the on the fly so to speak mm. so after we've got that i'm just going to clean our palette knives you get three different palette knives if you watch me i always tend to go back to this one I oh, don't yeah. know why. That's the one Leanne uses. Is it? Mm. I've not really paid attention to what other people use, but it's always the one that I seem to go back to. Right. That looked lovely on white card, mm. but let's have a look on black card. Now, these stencils, they're, I think they're officially called 8x8, um, eight eight, but yeah. the stenciling area is 7x7. Seven seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that on there. So have you got any favourites? What colours? Yeah. Um, I like the Equinox, and I also like the, what was the other one I really, really liked? Um, the Peacock's beautiful. I would say Equinox, Peacock, or the Rose Garden I'm a fan of as well. Ooh, Rose Garden, let me have a look. I want, actually, those two are going to go well together, because they've got hints of what they've got. Mm. So we're going Peacock and Equinox. Nice. I think I must have a new set, you know. These all feel new. Oh, no, they're not. So let me just put that there so I remember which one that one is. It is important that you seal them shut when you finish. Oh, yes, you made a very good um, a big really point is. of saying that, yeah. Yeah, Maybe make sure you some, do. Like, cling film over the top as well if you take If you're the... not going to be using them for a while, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take this one. Now, just remember, these come better as they dry. So I'm going to pop... Look at that. No, it's amazing, right? Yeah. Isn't this absolutely 
gorgeous so we're just going to pop this on here I think our Leanne liked Equinox. She did. Because as I'm opening the pot, it's got the least left in she it. She did. She loved using it and loved saying it as well. Did she? Equinox. Equinox. Right, so mm. I'm going to stop at that point. Yeah. And I can clean my pan. Look, it's already gonna... changing colour. You can see it. It's yeah. crazy. There is so much in there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I can see why this is peacock. Yeah, oh yeah. I can really see why this is peacock. And they are so thick. They are brilliant. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a mix. Absolutely amazing, amazing um, glitter paste. The more I see, the nicer they are, says Lynn Morton. Agreed with that. Um, and Ella says, I really love, love using glitter paste. So much fun, not to mention makes your own background um, or something for a card. Right, um, so I've yeah. got to that point and I'm just going to get a little dab of that. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have too much of either. I'm going to get a bit of that and then I'm just going to blend over the center but i wanted to make sure that i didn't have any that i would needed to put back in at that point if you know what I, mean. I was trying to make sure i'd any bits that needed to go back in had gone back in before i did mm. yeah i don't want to contaminate so like i say this is a very very quick demo but this is using the whole of that stencil just lifting back and look at that got to give that a wiggle it's overrun and look at the colours here, look at this. Oh my goodness me. Is it green? Is it blue? Is it gold? Is it, is it copper? copper? Is it yeah. yellow? Now that will become more and more intense as it and dries. more colour changing mm -hmm. as um, as it dries. Yes. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Incredible and absolutely worth uh, just having a quick look at that uh, in the final few moments of the show. Wowzers is the word I would use, Hayley, as well. Wowzers. Um, Lynn says, the more I see, the nicer they are. And Sarah says, ooh, pretty. Um, if you want to go for the showstopper, £80 or $99.20 is your platinum price on this. Um, loads of you bought it on launch. Loads of you have continued to buy it over the course of the last few days. Um, and it's still available. So if you want to go for the showstopper, you can. Um, it's the best way to go because you get an extra £10 or $10 off within the actual showstopper. If you just want individuals, of course, you can do that as well. Um, just pick the ones that you want. Check the website for the details. Demo of the day. Very close again. Bit of a giveaway as to which one it is. <laughs> Number one from Wake Up Call this morning. Uh, so congratulations. You're in with a, a big shout of winning. Uh, I, mean, I mean, A, because it's a great card, but also there's only one other card up on the shelf. <laughs> so, uh, this and you're Lily, in on Sunday. Lily tomorrow, and then I'm in on Sunday, yes. So if I was a betting man, which I'm not, I would say you're in with a bit of a shout this week. Mm, I've yeah. got a three out of four chance, haven't I? Yeah. 75%. 75%. Um, so yeah, what a great day. More tomorrow. So just remind me, tomorrow it's you and Lily with Lily, that side, correct? Yes. Uh, play your crafts right in the morning. Yeah. More new year, new craft. I don't know, I didn't look. Oh. I was so busy getting mine ready. <laughs> More new year, new craft. Uh, and uh, we've got another craft pot for you as well, with an embossing special for you. Uh, and then, of course, you can catch Debbie and uh, Corinne together on Sunday, where you'll have the sort of wrap up of the week. Seventh, it will be on Sunday, which will be the final day of New Year, New Craft as well. Um, so you can pick up all of those sort of final deals. And of course, Second Chance Sunday and first look of that brand new Sara Signature um, floral collection, which is launching officially next Tuesday. Uh, Leanne and I will have the first opportunity for you to get your hands on that on Wake Up Call on that Tuesday. And then Sara and I will be officially launching that um, in the middle show on Tuesday. Corinne, thank you so much. See you very soon, hopefully. Yeah. I'm not sure when. No, Can't I'm think. not. Maybe not this month, actually. I, I don't maybe. think so. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. We'll hopefully. see you soon. Soon. Always a pleasure. Corinne will be here tomorrow with Lily and then, as I say, with Debbie on Sunday as well. I'll be back with you on Monday. Uh, looking forward to that. Got Lily for Wake Up Call Monday and then uh, a couple of shows uh, with Craig who will be hot-footing it back from Scotland. But whatever you're doing, make sure you stay with us over the course of the weekend uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>